career development, and workplace skills are probably more important now than at any time in recent history. The last couple of years, they've been really interesting to have to navigate no matter what you do for a living. I was recently reading an article on Associations Now, which is the official blog for the American Society of Association Executives. The article was written by one of my favorite authors, Ernie Smith, and he talks about what needs to be done to have better workplace skills as we launch into the new year. And there were four areas that he touched on, and I want to give my reaction to those and add a fifth area. So the number one thing that he talked about was the ability to have soft skills. You know, having emotional intelligence, being able to relate to people, it's more important now, especially in a world where we're working remotely and we can't see each other face to face. In the article, he cites a study that says that people who have really high ability in these areas of soft skills, emotional intelligence, and relating to people, on average, they earn $30,000 more a year than people who don't have these skills. So we need to pay attention to those things that we've always called soft skills to make sure that we're getting stronger. Because how we relate to people, I think it matters more in the current situation of the world than it did in the past. The second area was communication skills, both online and offline. Let's face it, the online communication skills have gone into overdrive the last couple of years. Videos like this one that you're watching have exploded all over YouTube and the whole internet because people had to find new ways to connect with people. I know as someone who made my living as a professional speaker at association events, I had to learn to communicate via video in ways that I never had before because when conferences pivoted to online, speakers had to be able to learn to come out and relate to the audience and build that, that trust that happens when you communicate well. However, the world isn't online solely, and we're not only going to communicate via these digital tools, although I do believe they're here for the long haul, so you must learn to better your communication in this online environment, whether it's video or written or just audio. But we have to get back to communication skills in person. I believe that speaking skills, being able to present in front of an audience, those are going to be more important than they ever have been in the past. And the ability to write well, well, that has just over the last decade gone crazy as we have moved so much to communication through the written word via all of the social media and other tools that we use regularly. So you need, if you want to succeed, you need to focus on how do I communicate with people so that we can have a dialogue. The third area that Ernie touches on in his article is the importance of technical skills. Let's face it, we need to be up to speed on every piece of technology that we use in our business. And the scary part is more and more new technologies are coming down the pipe. Doesn't matter what area you work in, the technical tools are only going to get more complex. So you have to stay involved. You don't wanna become obsolete. So you need to focus on the use of your technical skills. And then the fourth area that Ernie touches on is the need for high levels of creativity. The creative class has taken over the world. People who have strong levels of creativity that they utilize in their jobs have the best job security that's out there. You can't expect to be valuable to your company if you're merely just someone who's putting a cog in a wheel. You have to be creative. You have to be looking for new ways to add to what your company is trying to accomplish so that you can serve your clients and serve your employer in a better way. Creativity has a lot of power. And then my bonus tip that wasn't in the article, but that I think is really important, is the power of human connection. I will tell you that I have spent a decade speaking on this idea of your network and your personal brand and how it advances your career. But as we come out of the pandemic, this need to be able to have a reputation, a brand, and to connect with people, I think is more important than ever when it comes to workplace skills and career development. You know, all opportunities in life come from people. So focusing in on people is more important now than it ever has been. So if you're looking for what workplace skills should I be working on, think about those five areas as you go in and tackle this year. Think of your soft skills, your emotional intelligence. How do you relate on that, that intangible level with the people who you work with, both inside your company and with clients? The second one is your communication skills. 
are you looking for ways to master the written word and the spoken word in person and online? Number three, keep your technical skills up as high as you can. One of the things I'm working on with my technical skills is I'm learning to edit video because video has become such an important part of my business. And the fourth one, focus on your creativity. The more creative you can be, the scrappier you are, the more important you will be to your employer. And then the fifth one is the power of people. Focus on building connections, not just likes, links, shares, and follows, but really working on building uncommon connections where you have an understanding of, of who you're building your relationships with in your network. Because when you have a powerful network of people who know who you are and what you're trying to do, no matter what's going on, you're never alone. There's always people there who want to help those people who they know, they like, and they trust. So I thank Ernie for publishing that article because it inspired me to focus on these areas in my own career, and it ties in directly to what I'm teaching my clients. So go out there in this new year and work on your career development and your workplace skills and thrive in all of those areas. Thank you so much for watching that entire video. Do me a favor, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. It would make me so happy. Just, just take your finger and push that little button or your cursor, click that little icon that says subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.